A shocking incident happened in Mutemera village in Hedman Betera's area under Chief Nyashano in Bohera. Onold Ndenga Mutemera, a 36-year-old, allegedly killed Monica Sengirai using an axe, chopped off her right arm, and ate it raw. This incident happened on the 5th of December 2017. Memori Moruku, a 36-year-old villager, together with her husband, Deploy Sengirai, left their daughter Monica Sengirai, a 4-year-old, together with her six-year-old sister playing at their homestead when they went to the field. The children were used to being left alone at the homestead playing when the parents went to the field. And on this particular day, the parents never knew that this day would end in a tragedy. As they played, an armed man, Onwo Ndenga Mutemera, who was from the same village, arrived at the Sengirai homestead armed with an axe. The children did not suspect anything because they assumed that he was coming from cutting some firewood. But he suddenly attacked and hacked Monica to death, subsequently chopping off her right arm. He dumped the murder weapon beside Monica's lifeless body and ran away with her sliced arm into the bush. The siblings shocked ran screaming to alert the neighbors and the miner's body was found lying in a pool of blood and the villagers called the police. When the parents returned from the fields they were shocked to see people camping at their homestead. Three women rushed towards the mother crying and told her that Monica had been axed to death by Onwal and she passed out. Grief engulfed the small village as the people wondered why Onwald had done such a thing. He was only arrested after evading the search team for 38 kilometers. He was found naked with his mouth, chest, hands and feet bloody. He had eaten Monica's hand raw in a fit of madness. He was believed to have lost his mind before he committed the heinous act. He was arrested and charged with murder. The Singirai family demanded 45 cattle as compensation, but the headman told them it was illegal as the maximum penalty was only 15 cattle. His family paid four live cattle and an assortment of small livestock and building materials which amounted to 18 cattle. They also paid 700 US dollars as a family. Mrs. Hannah Mutemeri, on world sister, Mrs. Hannah Mutemeri, on world sister at the time, claimed that they still had to pay nine more cattle and were busy mobilizing. She said they wanted to settle the matter amicably and she admitted that what he had done was evil, killing an innocent child for no reason. The girl was buried without a hand, which is a taboo in Shona culture. I could not find any information of his sentences. I could not find any information of his sentencing. But given the nature of his crime, it is highly likely that he was declared unfit to stand trial because of his mental challenges. He had a history of questionable mental capacity. It was evidence cannibalistic murder that something was wrong with him. This story is a stark reminder of the need to never leave our children unattended and also to get treatment for mentally ill people in our communities to prevent such acts.